Dow Horcher will be fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov on just nine days' notice this weekend in Tampa Bay. He joins us right now on the phone. Daryl, how are you? I'm all right. How you doing? I'm doing great. Apologies for uh, the slight delay, but uh, great to have you on the program. Um, you know, it's interesting going through your Twitter timeline, and we have the the handle right over there on our screen if you're watching this live, Horcher MMA. And, and going back to March, you were talking to Dana White. You were tweeting Dana White. I don't think he was replying, but you were out there saying, anytime, anywhere, I will fight on a day's notice, two days' notice, whatever. And, and you stay true to your word. You got nine days' notice to fight one of the toughest guys in the sport. When did you start to realize, okay, I'm ready for the UFC, and I could put this out there, just hoping that they take the bait? Um, probably one or two fights ago, I felt I was, I was ready. You know, I was gauging myself to their top guys. I felt I was ready. And, uh, yeah, and I, I try to stick to my word. If I'm going to tweet about it or say about it, I'm going to do it. So when I said anybody on any notice, I meant it. Obviously there was better matchup that we could have on nine days notice than to be himself, you know, but anybody, he's just a man. They're all the same. So, <laughs> so on Tuesday, this news comes out that he is looking for an opponent and in fact, your your one of your managers, Brian Hamper, tweets out to both Damon Martin and I that he has thrown a name in the hat. But you're you're you know uh, um, an outsider. You don't have any UFC fights on your record. And I asked him who it was, and he said you. On Tuesday, when you guys did that, did you think you had a shot? No, honestly, my honest thoughts about that were we would throw my head in the my hat in the ring for for Khabib. They would pull somebody else for him, and hey, maybe that would give me my chance at that gentleman's opponent so when that did that was my thought on that was eh, they'll pull somebody else a little more experienced for a ranked guy and they'll throw me in there with the other guy when did you start to feel like you had a chance you know i didn't even really think about it at all up until they called me and said i had it i mean they called me i was actually at work and they called me and, and said hey welcome to ufc you got to fight like let's do this wow who called you <clears throat> um brian butler my manager. Another, yeah, another one of your managers um, calls yep. you, was it on Thursday? Yeah, it was Thursday, Thursday morning. So from what I understand, according to UFC.com, you are a project manager for a sheet metal company. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's accurate. So you were at work when you got this phone call? Yeah. How did you react? You know, at first I was trying, I didn't really believe it. You're like, yeah, okay. I'm waiting <laughs> for, for the call back to be like, oh, never mind. They found somebody else. And then that didn't really happen. So then I left work. <laughs> Wait, so so did you just like walk out of work like you you didn't fulfill your hours you just left oh i didn't quit i worked for family so i was able to just leave and, and go get ready and get prepared and get, get things in line and get things in order i had to do a lot of medicals i had to do all my medicals thursday and friday so between those two days i was running around getting my physical my eye exam all that stuff so there was no yelling there was no dancing no shouting, no calling up a loved one, something like that. It, it was all business like. It was for the most part. I mean, I, I got a. I called my wife and told her, and, and she's a redhead, so she blew up right away. She's <laughs> like, "Are you serious? No way!" So I mean, she was the one yelling. I was more like, "I'll believe it when it happens." <laughs> so when did you believe it happened? When you didn't get the call back saying it was a joke? Yeah, and when I had the contract in my email. Wow. Um, yep. so, so what about this uh, sheet metal company? Are you going to take some time off? They, they seem like pretty good people to work for. You said a family. Are they uh, Are they lenient? Are, are they understanding that you need some time off here? Yeah, absolutely. I have Obviously, I have all week off. I'll be in Florida here tomorrow. I leave for Tampa. So, yeah, no, I can say take off whenever I want. Prior to this, I would take off for training. I would take off a week here and there and go travel and, and train various places. How much did you weigh when you got the call on Thursday? Um, well, heavy. <laughs> what is heavy? Like 81. 82. Holy moly. So 81. What, what do you weigh now? Uh, well, I'm starting my water load, but right now I'm 74, 75, so I'm good as far as the weight goes. I'll make, make the weight no problem. This will be your 14th pro fight. Um, have you ever had to cut this much before? Yeah, I had to do, uh, I did 16 pounds one, one time on a day's notice. Uh, that was pretty miserable. Wow. Uh, when was that? Uh, that would have been my last Bellator fight. They, it was a big build up. My fight was canceled and then back on and then canceled and then back on. And then they canceled it on me like two days out. And then the day before weigh-ins, they called me and said, it's back on to cut weight. Is this the, the Phil Nover fight? Yeah, after Nover fight. So this is your only loss? 
Yes, my only loss was uh, that one, and I had a horrible, horrible wake up. I don't remember any of the fight. It was so bad. I, I was so dehydrated and drained. I don't remember. I don't remember walking out of the cage. So you lost that one on unanimous decision. Since then, I believe you've won five in a row. Uh, kind of a similar circumstance here, as far as you know, a lot of weight to cut and whatnot. Are, are you worried about this? Is this a concern as far as mentally? No, I'm not too worried about it. Because prior to that, I mean, I had just got back to training a month, month ago, a month and a half ago. So my weight was slowly coming off, but I wasn't rushing and so I had nothing lined up. Okay. Um, now that, you know, and it's a 60 catch weight, so that, that last five pounds, people understand that last five pounds is a big difference. Losing that last five pounds makes it really no stress. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I don't know if that's actually been reported or put out there. So this is a 160-pound catchweight fight. Yes. Uh, was that a stipulation that needed to be put in place because of the, the short notice? Did you guys ask for that? I don't. I honestly don't know. I just when it was presented to me, it was presented at 160. Maybe you and have I, really I good think. managers. Yeah, hopefully that. I, I think that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you know when when the dust settles and you know you're you're about to go to bed or whatever, you know Friday night or whatever. Is a part of you feeling like, yes, I'm in the UFC, I got what I wanted, I just wish I had a little more time to prepare for arguably the best lightweight in the world? Like, do you, are, Is it kind of a mixed emotion as you prepare for this fight? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like I said, yeah, the short notice thing isn't a huge deal, but yeah, for somebody like this, it would have been nice to at least have somewhat of a camp. I mean, I've been training four days a week, or four times a day since since I got the call, but what are you going to do in a weekend? You know, let's be honest. Yeah. How much did you know about Khabib Nurmagomedov before this, this booking? Um, not a lot. Uh, I haven't really followed him much. Hmm. You know, and I know he's been out with an injury. Uh, I know he beat Dos Anjos. I watched that fight, so I, I vaguely remember that. But I don't really watch footage on my opponents. I got you know my team, I got my training partners, and my coaches all do that for me. So I, I just know that he's a good grappler and he's an explosive striker, and you know he's he's ranked where he is for a reason to train hard and go in there with my head clear all that being said though do you kind of feel like this is best case scenario you know the, the the fact that he hasn't fought in two years if you're going to fight someone like him might as well fight him when he's off for two years like do you believe in in cage rust and all that stuff i don't i i think it all comes down to how you train i mean i, I personally i only fight every six months or so and i'm coming off of seven months since my last fight i think it's all in how you train the, the cage rust is a is a mental thing you know if you train hard and, and you spar, and you wrestle, and you roll, and depending on how you train, it transitions over. Are you a big Twitter guy? Do you, do you look at social media? I'm not a big Twitter guy. I'm, I probably should be, especially now. But when this blew up, I actually shut off all my notifications, and uh, I haven't really gotten on at all because I know there's going to be a lot of haters. And, you know, Khabib's a big name. He has a lot of fans. A lot of people are talking bad about me. And I just I don't need to read it. I don't need to deal with it. So I turned it all off and not paying attention. Yeah, I, I was just going to ask you about that. I was curious. You know, um, this was met. I personally think it makes all the sense in the world. He gets a chance, you know, to fight. He hasn't fought in two years. He gets that paycheck. Here we have this, you know, it's cliche, but this Rocky story, you get a chance, you know, on the biggest stage possible. Um, Fox main card, you get a chance to fight one of the best. I mean, it's a great, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful story. If you can't put together the fight that you wanted um, and it's and everything's healthy, you know, the fact that you're cutting all that much weight, I will admit, it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but I love the fact that you're getting this opportunity that he's still getting to fight. That being said, though, a lot of fans were, you know, saying, who's Daryl Horcher? What is this? You know, they couldn't come up with anyone better than that. So I was wondering if you read that and if it discouraged you at all. No, I didn't read it. And like I said, uh, it really wouldn't. Had I read it, it wouldn't discourage me because, you know, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a lower level pro from a little area. You know, I fought on, on Bellator, which is at the time I fought on it was nowhere near as big as it even is now. Um, but prior to that, I've been fighting regionally. So a lot of these guys, you know, the fanboys and the, the keyboard warriors aren't really going to know who I am. And that's okay. You know, I, I understand that, and I would just, you know, brush that off and ignore it and move on. Is it true that uh, you tried out for the Ultimate Fighter and would have gone on the show had it, had it not been for an injury? For this season? Uh, yeah, I, I tried out for the Ultimate Fighter and would have been on the show. It wasn't an injury. It was... Uh, I was injured going in, so I was heavy. It was really more or less the stress of making weight every two weeks or every week. I didn't think I could do it. And I'm not going to take a chance and go on to a show like that and not make weight and then be blackballed and pushed aside and yep. never looked at. Um, what, what season was that? Was that this past That's, one? Uh, yeah. I tried out for the one the 55 prior to that as well, and I actually didn't make it the whole way through. Wow. 
That is amazing. And now here you are again on the biggest stage possible fighting uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Are you the kind of fighter who gets nervous? Like, do you think once you're at that arena in Tampa on Saturday, knowing that a couple million at least will be watching, you know, are you the kind of fighter that, you know, gets a little worked up, gets gets butterflies? How do you think you'll react to all of that? Yeah, I am the fighter who gets, I get real bad anxiety for all my fights. It doesn't matter if there's 100 people out there or 100,000 people. It really isn't going to matter. I'm going to get nervous, and I know that. I've, you know, I got 13 fights now. I kind of know how to deal with it. And by the time I get in the cage, it just it goes away. Mm. I'll be real nervous in the back. I'll be very nervous in the back, I can assure you. But like I said, when I get in the cage, it all just goes away. Do you think that you'll be able to even enjoy this? Like going, you know, it's it's a lot. And and from what I understand, I've never been backstage at a CFFC event, but I, I hear that they run a fantastic show. I know the great Burt Watson works for them backstage. So, you know, you get some of that, you know, that big league experience when it comes to dealing with the officials and whatnot. But are you, do you think that you'll be able to enjoy this week, Tampa, doing the photo shoots, the media, things like that? Do you think that you'll be able to enjoy that? Or is this too big happening too fast for you? I think it's happening too fast. I can't really settle in and enjoy any of it. But on the other hand, with it happening so fast, I also don't have that build up to get that anxiety, those nerves, the stress. You know, the, the biggest stress I had so far was getting my medicals done. Let's get the medicals and get the paperwork done. You know. Yeah. Um, do you get to keep your your lightweight title, your CFFC lightweight title, or or, or do you have to uh, relinquish that now? Yeah, I've, I've vacated that. Obviously, they gave me uh, with the contract from the UFC. I've, I've vacated that and moved on. Okay. But I still have a nice little belt. It sits on my shelf. Uh huh. <laughs> and 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 what about you know the future? Um, you know, of course, you you hope for the win. But have you been assured that you'll get another fight regardless of what happens on Saturday because you are stepping up on on such short notice? I do believe so. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's not a one fight contract; it's a multiple fight contract. Okay. So yeah, I do believe so, and and I I don't really see. Personally, I don't really see how, regardless of the outcome, how that would be possible. I mean, I'm stepping up on nine days' notice when nobody else would to fight, like you said, arguably the number one ranked lightweight in the world. <laughs> is your is your wife coming to watch? Yeah, my wife will be there, and wow. uh, she'll be freaking out. So everybody here, she <laughs> screams really loud when I fight. So everybody, yes. funny, all my family, when they watch it on TV, they just sit back and listen to her scream. So. Oh, I can't wait for that. So she's a, she's a redhead, so I'll be looking out for a, a redhead screaming at the top of her, her lungs. Hopefully she's the only one in Tampa Bay. Uh, any other family <laughs> members coming to watch, or what, what do you think it's going to be like back home? Um, I think here I got some other people coming out. There's some friends coming out. Uh, quite a few people. I was surprised that many people are coming out. But the, the big thing is going to be back home. They're, they're throwing some parties and, and watching TV, and, and my my family from Chicago. I'm actually originally from Chicago. I have a lot of family out there. They're all throwing a big get together and they'll watch on a big projector. That is great. Um, it's it's very rare that I get to ask this question to someone on this show. Um, but since a lot of people are learning about you for the first time, in short, what kind of fighter are you? If someone says Daryl Horcher is, is, is this kind of fighter, what's the answer to that? You know, I don't know. Maybe my manager even said it best when we were talking the other day about this fight. I'm the type of fighter that when I get in the cage... I draw a line in the sand, and we're going to fight. You cross the you cross the line, we're going to fight. There's there's no quit in me, and I don't back down from anybody. If you're in the cage with me, we're going to fight, and you're going to know you're in a fight. Hmm. You know, I don't I don't care who I'm fighting. You shouldn't take me lightly. I'm not taking you lightly. That's it. And I and I know I have the power in my hands to put any man on this planet down. So you definitely shouldn't take me lightly, and know that we're going to fight. Hmm. Um, and in your mind. Do you foresee a way of beating Khabib? Like, I know you, you said you haven't been paying too much attention to him. This is a guy who's undefeated, has had a very solid run and a very dominant run in the UFC, but do you see a path to victory? Oh, absolutely, yeah. If I didn't see a path to victory on all of the top you know, top 10, top 15 guys, I wouldn't have even thrown my hat in and said I'd fight anybody in any notice. I do believe there's a way to beat him, and he's just a man, you know. Uh, I, he can be beat just like anybody else. Wow. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it, my friend. Uh, congrats on getting the fight. Good job putting it out there long before this was even a possibility. Um, looking forward to it this Saturday. It's live and free on Fox. It's Daryl Horcher versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. Call me crazy. I love these stories. And I give you a lot of credit, my man, for stepping up on nine days notice. Best of luck to you on Saturday. Looking forward to it very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. There he is. Daryl Horcher. All business, no nonsense, as he prepares for his UFC debut, got the call when he was 181 pounds, and we just found out the fight will actually be taking place at 160 pounds. Important to note, uh, I, I do not think that was put out there when, when the news broke on Thursday, so 
five less pounds to cut. We wish him the best. I think it's great for both men, uh, of course, if he's healthy, if the cut is done well. But also, for Khabib, he hasn't fought in two years. Um, good, good to see him just get a fight, get another you know, paycheck, get his career back on track. I think that's very important as well.